Let's try this again, shall we? Yeah. Hey everybody, it's BC here, and at the ripe age of 43, I am grounded in my own backyard. Uh, yes, that's right. I am playing grounded. This isn't looking good, Max. Oh, I don't want to interrupt you. Uh, yeah, a big thanks to my friend Proximity Thundercore for give, gifting me a copy of this game. Uh, it's a game I was looking at quite a few times. I've watched a few people play it. And one of my favorite movies growing up just happened to be Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. And I always wanted to be, you know, about this size and actually see the world from a different perspective. Oh, that's my scab recording. That? Some sort of radio like some stuff I'm doing. Uh, yeah, so basically what happened is uh, we got shrunk. I don't really do, know too much about the story. We have been shrunk. We have to sort of find clues and I guess fix a machine that's going to get us back to a normal size. And at the same time, we have to survive and deal with the bugs in nature and all that stuff. And yes, it's telling me what I'm doing. Uh, anyways, uh, so there's a quest and I got to go explore... I'm basically over here, that's the mysterious machine. Uh, just give me a bit of a thing. Hang on. I'm sorry, I had a bit of an old man moment there. Uh, yeah, so uh, we do go to exploring. Uh, these are little research tents that we come across, and they allow us to research things that we pick up, like little plant fibers and stems and stuff like that, or uh, sprigs, I think they were. Is that what they are? Uh, yeah, sprig. This allows us to well, unlock crafting equipment, to crafting ingredients, crafting recipes. Still, yes. I'm not exactly sure so we analyze it. We do keep the keep the stuff. What but, is uh, going on? I should keep looking around. I don't know if I want to turn that off or not. Anyway, uh, yeah. So we can go ahead and analyze stuff, and this will unlock uh, crafting recipes. And it's sort of like a progression tree. Uh, progression tree. And then we get this raw science that we get used to unlock special blueprints. Uh, one of the things I had trouble finding was uh, in my previous playthrough, as you saw by the intro. There, uh, I was playing a little bit by myself. I didn't get too far into the game, uh, but I was having trouble trying to. Trouble trying to find floors, and all I could find was like the clay foundations. I didn't realize that I had to actually go into here to unlock them, but I didn't actually have this available until I went and found Burgle. Anyway, uh, so let's go ahead and add a few more things, and then we're gonna go do a little bit of exploring, gather some resources, and uh, maybe get some armor or something going because uh, God, the bugs are nasty. Needless to say, I don't like wolf spiders. I don't like spiders in general. And when I saw that thing lurking around, ooh, that terrified me. Actually, my first run, it actually ran towards me. Anyway, uh, yeah, we can analyze that later. So, uh, we do have crafting, we have different types of things. Uh, there's different machines, well, stations, I should say, that we can build. Uh, we don't have them unlocked yet, but there's all sorts of different things. Uh, workstation allows a workbench. I should say allows uh, special crafting. That's where you see, like, uh, like on here. I actually need the, uh, let's say, oh yeah, the grinder. And the grinder we can actually cannot actually make because I think we have to find something else for it. So that's what we do. And anyways, uh, let us explore. We do have food or vitals we have to watch out for. So the it's food and water for there. And uh, these can be pets or food. Anyway. I'm gonna grab a pebblet, we'll grab some of this, and then we'll head over here and investigate the machine. Whoa, look at the size uh, of that ant. Honestly, I'm just glad it's not big enough to squish me. Yeah, wait till you see the spiders. Well, yeah, they definitely did a good job on the game, I do what like is it. That? And this is the mysterious machine. And this is apparently the thing that actually shrunk us or something. Showtime. We'll go and activate it, and we have to do some like things. Laser tag. Nothing happened. I really do like the the, the depth of field After they've added in this because you're so small and everything's focused in the world that you anything. are. But sometimes you can get yeah. out of the way where you got nothing actually in your view, then it sort of focuses off in the distance. Anyway, so what do we have to do next? Uh, we have to analyze the pebblet, uh, analyze the fiber, find right, water, and all that stuff. So let's go back to the research thing here and see if it's recharged enough. Uh, water, I've noticed, isn't too bad because usually at night, of course, you get to do it on the grass and you can go and drink that, so it's always handy. And uh, let's see what we got here. We have one charge. Okay. Uh, 
Oh yeah, it's down here. I'll analyze that. And I'm gonna act to make myself a little peblet, peblet axe. And uh, all the tools and armor and all that stuff can be upgraded with different things and stuff like that. So now we get the brain power. This unlocks more things. And uh, we also get this raw science that, like I said, you can spend on points to unlock other things. Alright, so let's go ahead and get ourselves... Uh, we need a hammer too. Puppet axe. Okay, so then we got a different uh, special uh, sub crafting, I guess you could call it. Crafting ingredient crafter craftings. And oh, it actually tells you all the things that are used in here that we have researched so far and things that we don't. So we'll go ahead and craft that and go back over here. I need one. Oh, I need one more. I need one more pebble. I need one more pebble. Nope, oh, that's not a pebble. That's a pebble. Okay, is that enough? Oh, and another sprig. Fortunately, they're everywhere. Okay, so we'll go ahead and craft that. Now I can actually get myself a nice little axe I can actually chop things down with. There it is. Alright. And this is a uh, lumber. Cutting down grass. Gotta love it. I've often wondered what would it, what it be like if you played this game and all of a sudden uh, your, your parents, I guess, decide that you're gonna mow the lawn. Alright, can I research more? Yes, I can. That's so I'm research more. Analyze this. Not research. Alright. We can make crude rope, which we already knew, and plant slurry. Okay, so what do we have to do next? Okay, so it's gonna tell us what we gotta do. I'm gonna... I guess I should make some tools, right? Let's head back over this way. Uh, I won't worry about that right now. Uh, these guys, they're okay. They're sort of neutral. They won't attack you unless you attack them. What was that? Uh, what do I gotta do here? Oh yeah, we gotta go and block the laser. Uh, which laser was it? Let's go back to the machine. Now, we do have to be careful because uh, we are small here. Alright, so, it was this laser here. Nope, that's... Uh, Go unblock this one first. I'm not ready for those yet. In fact, get ourselves a shield ready for these mites. They always have trouble with them. There you are. Come here, you. Hey, buddy. Clogs now. I hear something. Uh oh. Come here, you. We're gonna make a shield. We're gonna make a shield. It's, it's kind of funny to find these things all over the place too, because the the ants like to get deep bully on them and find little like weevil snouts and meat laying around. Okay, well, I think I needed three meat for the shield, but I definitely want to make a shield. I'm gonna watch out now that uh, ant might smell the food and try to come after me. I think so. He wants the food. Because I have raw weevil meat on me. Alright, there is the shield. Get out of here, see if we can make that shield. Uh, that's not it. Weevil shield. Need two more weevils. Oh, we need the grub hide too. And I can't get the grub hide until we find acorns. Anyways, so, uh, let's go free this up. Let's go run over the grass here. Oh, pointing at some water. Okay, now apparently you can knock this off, and I haven't actually been able to successfully do that. Right. And oh, it does good. stay. That was uh, one of the things they did with the uh, last update. Apparently, the dew drops weren't staying on the ground. Okay, if I didn't eat some food, well, I have some food, but I don't want to eat it because it's not cooked. Uh, maybe make ourselves a little fire spit. Uh, dry grass, sprigs, and pebbles. Okay, pebblets are everywhere, dry grass is everywhere, and sprigs are everywhere, but for some reason I can't find any. Sprigs. There's a pebblet there. Sprig, sprig, pebblet, pebblet. I swear to god, that's a vulture. So something's gonna sweep down and pick me up and that's it. Game over. Lost Mother Nature. Well, gonna happen anyways. Uh do I have enough? 
Oh, yeah, I do. Now I need the dry grass. There's a chunk right here. And there we go. Uh, two and one more. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Is that it? Just give me two. I think it did. But, oh, that's a leaf. There's a chunk. Piece right over here. Good. Now, last time I was set up over by this thing, I don't know where I want to set up, uh, set up my home. But for the time being, I want to set up my fire spit here. And then... Yeah, then you actually have to build the thing and then place the food on there. And, of course, the ants come in, so I'm going to have to cook two of them. Nope, oh, that wasn't an ant. Come here. Food on the go. Actually, the kids got the obs an obsession with the aphids. I don't know why. Yeah, I think I adjust my sensitivity a little bit. And... In a moment, we're going to have roast weevil. Or weevil roast. Oh, there we go. Weevil roast. So I have that. Uh, that's not my inventory. That's my inventory. Uh, there is spoilage too, and that's always uh, the biggest thing I get in any game like this for me is uh, I always forget about the spoilage, so half the time I have food in my inventory and it spoils on me. Good times. Uh, is there anything I can research? Oh, analyze. Analyze that. Uh, stem pellet, yeah, so there's like storage for the, the stems. The stems are for dandelions and weed roots and stuff like that. And then you can have like your grass planks. And, oh, don't have enough for this. It's gonna count down pretty quick here. And this allows us to make a gas mask because there's a poison area somewhere over there. And, do this in just a second. Two, one. And, and yes, there's a day night cycle, which is pretty interesting. Not 24 hours though. And that gets a gas mask. Alright, so what do we gotta do here? We gotta go. We gotta clear out this. Oh. I thought I ate that already. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, yeah, we'll get to mutations a little later. Just here and there we go. We ate food. So now, let's go first. So I'm not gonna be making a shield, this would be fun with the mites, but let's go clear. Chop down this blade of grass here. And I believe... Having a little pee. I believe I hit the wrong button again. That's going to be this one here. Huh. Yeah. Completion music. And now, for this one. And this is... This is going to be the, the mites. Hearing funny noises and it's scaring me. Because at my small size, not much. Okay, where am I going here? Over here. There's the mites. As long as I'm not a giant spider, I don't care. Uh, okay, where was I? Oh yeah, we gotta go this way here. I think it was this way. No, not in the hole. We go in this hole. Oh, I gotta make a torch, don't I? Where is my torch? Uh, I need rope, dry grass, and a sprig. Let's so actually take care of this quickly. Grab a couple of these. Someone get that poor dude a tissue. And dry grass. Nope, oh, right here. I can also get uh, glow roots or something like that, and a sprig. Okay, we can go. We can actually hot craft in here, so that actually makes that interesting. All right, cool. Now, why was that letting me craft? Now it is. Okay. Let us go deal with these mites, shall we? No, oh, that's <laughs> uh, that's the wrong hole in the ground. Just goes to show, I don't know a hole, hole in the ground from a hole in the ground. Oh yeah, we gotta go this way, I guess. There's the cable. Looks like that little red thing's itching for a fight. Mouse wasn't working now. 
Yeah, this is what I mean about you being terrible at combat. That's why I wish I had that shield. There's a backpack too, so if you perish, you do get all your stuff back. You just have to get to it. Now, what I gotta do is I gotta get rid of these guys. Collect all their fuzz too, because I actually need this for crafting. And Take grab that, that torch out. And right about now is when you expect a giant spider to come flying out of nowhere and eat ya. And look at that, almost, almost dead. Uh, wait, I can craft a bandage, can't I? Let's actually get out of here. Uh, which way am I going here? Going this way. Get away from the fresh mites here. I think there was a... Yes, a bandage. I need sap and plant fibers. Alright. There you know. Sap. Sap. And a couple more plant fibers. Somewhere. There's one there. Oh, I missed one up there. Uh, plant fiber, plant fiber. There we go. And we can go ahead and make a bandage. And of course, stay in my inventory, as always. And how does that do? A little bit. Some slow regeneration over time, I think it was, how it works with these. Okay, let's get this guy. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the red mice fight. Huh. Grab that. And let's go down in here. The rest of them. And... Thought I heard you. I lived. Oh, I thought I was gonna die there. Nice walk. There's those uh, glow bears. I'm not too sure about like natural regeneration. I don't know if you, do you naturally regenerate. Oh, I actually finished it. Uh, grab some of these. Oh, slime. Is that mold? What? What well, slime mold stock? That was interesting. And I can't get through there because I haven't made an axe yet. Was it tier one? Oh, I can make a. Make it with what I have. No, I can't. Because I need pellets and all that stuff. Okay, what's next? I'll right, go back and investigate the machine further. And then I believe that takes us to the Burgo area. The nasty area with the... The orb weavers. Good times. Okay, let's head back over here. Uh, let's put my torch away before... I'm not picky. Oh, it's okay. It's just a mushroom I ate. Oh, it's getting dark. Should probably find somewhere to crash. Oh, it's you. Okay. Alright, so that means I gotta make a lean-to. No, lean-to is just basically like a little... little thing we sleep in. Which is right there. Clovers and sprigs. I'm gonna gather a whole bunch of clovers. So I'm actually gonna need those for... armor and stuff like that. As you can see, yeah. I like those guys, they're kind of funny. Alright, let's actually analyze some of the stuff so we can get. This, I know this is going to get us another torch. Uh, a sconce and a torch, which is, you know, kind of uh, self explanatory. Then we got this stuff here, and I can't wait all this stuff unlocks. Let's see here arrow, mite hat, stuffed mite, and fuzz on the rocks. Yeah. Can't wait to see what that tastes like. Alright, so I do have to make a lean too. We also do have to investigate the machine and gather some clovers. And as far as I know, the little roasting spit there doesn't actually need fuel, so we should be good on that. But let's gather. Gather some clovers. I wonder if there's an achievement for actually finding that four leaf clover. Uh, it probably is. 
And then we can make armor out of this. It's actually yeah. for the roofs. So it's actually going to put the roof in there when uh, the spider decided to pay me a visit. I was inside the house and he was outside and I was uh, attacking a spider, but the spider decided it was going to somehow squeeze through the window and so I had a spider in my house. That's how that happened. Good times. Alright. And, activate. I really like how they do that too, where they they have the whole world rendered, so when they do the cinematics, it's just like the camera zooming right out. So you're seeing everything. I wonder if you can actually see like all the things that you built. And that is gonna be boom. Did you hear something that sounded like a big far off explosion? I did. Yes, I did. Uh, let me check the recording time, and I'll be right back. Uh, we're getting close to about that time, so what I think we're going to do is it's telling me to get a few more clovers. I don't know why it keeps telling me to get more clovers, but I'm getting clover. And we are going to go ahead and build a lean-to somewhere. Um, why am I hearing something open and close? I have no idea. Uh, let's see if I can actually build it up here. Oh, I need sprigs. I need sprigs. Oh, that's not a sprig. There's a sprig. Uh, oh, I'm thirsty. Grab a few more of these. Uh, you can drink the dirty water. It does make you a little hungry. There are little things you can get. Like find, like, uh, juice boxes and stuff like that. Hello, Mr. Ant. And of course, there's also dew in the morning. Now, I want to see if I can build this here. Invalid surface. No, it won't let me build it here. Too bad. I can build it right there. Go ahead and do that. And yes, and then we sleep for eight hours automatically. I don't know why you can't just sleep in a certain amount of time, but yeah, that's how it is. Uh, I'm not too sure about the color. I've noticed that this will change green, I guess. Uh, the color of the. The window here and also of the uh, inventory screen determines on whether you wake up in the dark or not. I don't know if it's a bad thing to be in the dark, but I'd imagine things like wolf spiders tend to happen more in the dark. But uh, with that, I think we'll call this one here we're about that time. In the next episode, we'll go investigate the explosion at the tree and, and we'll go meet Burgle. Until then, I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later. That's right, food.